Hey guys, this is for Dr. Long's uh, study guide if for exam two, and I'm going over question number two. Question number two deals with um, the, fat, the physical properties of lipids, and specifically fatty acids. And in question number two, we're asked to describe the tr trends in melting point for uh, a variety of fatty acids. And the available fatty acids that we have to compare is 16-O, 1, 2, 3, successively. Now the key t to actually solving this problem is two it has two components. The first is that you have to know the notation. Uh, the notation itself goes like this. Uh, the 16 uh, represents the number of carbons. And the number beside it after the colon represents the number of uh, unsaturations or double bonds that are in the fatty acid. Okay, so the number of double bonds. And generally speaking, although it's not listed in the problem, uh, you'll oftentimes have a delta symbol with a series of numbers beside it. And the numbers represent on what number of carbon those double bonds are actually uh, arranged. So where the double bonds are. And so for now that we understand the notation for this, we'll, we can go ahead and solve the problem. Um, so for the list of fatty acids that we have, we, ha we see that we're increasing the number of double bonds in the fatty acid chain. So it'll either increase or decrease, but which one's the correct answer? We know that all double bonds, generally speaking, unless it's um, catalytically unsaturated, uh, you will have uh, a cis double bond. So you'll end up having a fatty acid, something s similar to this where it goes across, and then you have that. And it makes a little kink in the fatty acid. And because of that, you can't pack those fatty acids very well if it has a lot of kinks. So the more kinks you have, the less packing you get. So the more double bonds equals uh, more kinks less packing. But what does this really mean? So since you can't pack it very well, they're going to be very fluid, just like in a plasma membrane. So the melting point is going to decrease because it's not very packed and it's much more fluid when temperatures increase. So we can expect each of these to decrease in, uh, as temperature is increasing. And therefore, we'll have a lower melting point for each of these fatty, respective fatty acids. Now the second part of the question asks about omega fatty acids. In particular, what would it look like for a 16 carbon fatty acid with three double bonds as an omega-6? So an omega-6 fatty acid generally uh, specifies the first double bond going from the reverse direction. So instead of numbering it traditionally for the double bonds from starting with a carboxyl group, you'll go on the opposite direction. So for So when we're trying to figure out where the double bonds would look uh, would lie in an omega-6 fatty acid, you would start numbering from this side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, it, th there would be a double bond here, but we have to remember that it's always in a cis orientation. So as a result, you need to make sure that it looks like this.
And so this, by having a, uh, a double bond in the sixth position from the reverse side, it automatically becomes an omega-6 fatty acid. Now, where you put the other two double bonds, since this one in particular has three, uh, doesn't quite matter, just as long as you do not put two double bonds successively uh, adjacent to each other, because it's chemically unstable and it wouldn't allow for the fatty acid to exist. So whenever you, if you can decide where you can choose the, the double bonds, just as long as there's one carbon space at every point in between the double bonds. So that's how you approach this problem.